Good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Video DJ Dre back in the building for another tutorial episode. Today I'm going to get right into it. Why I just purchased the Reloop Beat Pad 2 along with the Reloop Neon. After eight years old, these two particular devices are over eight years old. That's right, the Reloop Beat Pad 2 been out for over eight years. The Neon has been out for a long time as well. And I'm just purchasing the two of them. The reasons why is because as you get older as a mobile DJ, and I'm talking to you young guys out there as well, because Father Time catches up with everybody and the older DJs. As you get older, you want to downsize your rig. You want to be a little bit lighter. For years, I've been carrying around, started out with the... Uh, the Pioneer, you know, mixer, the, the, the SM9, I believe, the Pioneer. Then I had two uh, CDJ Nexus 2000s carrying around three cases for years. When you're younger, that's not a problem. That's not an issue, man. It might take a little bit longer to set up, but when you're young, you got the energy, you're ready to go. It don't matter. As you get older, you realize that, hey, man, I want to set up a little bit quicker. I want to break down quicker, and I want to travel a little bit lighter. So I recently just purchased this, man, and one of the main reasons why I did purchase this, I did my research because, as you know, it's over eight years old. So why would I purchase something that old? Well, if you've been following my channel, you know that I recently switched over from Serato to DJ uh, Pro AI, Algorithms AI, and the two of these work together seamlessly. They actually built this particular controller just for DJ years ago. Now, since DJ done came up with all these new updates, and you know, I'm not going to go into them, but definitely check them out. It's a reason for most DJs to want to switch from Serato to DJ. I made that switch because the update, the updates that they put in this program is off the chain. Number one, of course, we all know about the stem controls, but they got the uh, FX crossfader mixing in it. You know, I've, for years, I haven't been a DJ that really messed with sync. I thought it was cheating. But as you get older and as more things become available to you, like stems, hot cues, samples, you got all these different functions at your fingertips it takes a little bit of a load off your hands when the AI programs can help you out just a little bit, make your transitions, make your mixes sound that much smoother, that much better. So I went out and purchased this because, and the two of these, they work seamless together, seamlessly together. You can MIDI map your Neon to the program as well. Now the Neon is a Serato device. I will tell you it's specifically made for Serato, but algorithm dj algorithm has made it easy to midi map any of the functions any of the buttons you can midi map to fully control your program from here and the, the reason for both of these is is because you know if you if you working if you're a dj like myself and you're doing a lot with your fingers you're going back and forth it's kind of difficult to control the hot cues your fx's your stems and your samples all with just one set of pads. Yeah, they got multiple, you know, you press this pad twice and it does multiple things, but it'll get a little confusing when you're in the middle of a set and you might hit the wrong button. So I purchased this up here so that I can keep my stems separately up here. I run my stems up here and down here, I'll just leave this for simple hot cues and samples. And it'll make it a lot more easier for me to DJ that way. Also, I found with this controller right here, the Reloop Beat Pad 2, these jog wheels are very, very well, well put together, very well built. This whole setup is very sturdy. It's, it's not metal. It's a very hard plastic. You know, you can go look at the reviews from eight years ago about this device here. But it's very well put together, very sturdy. It has an auxiliary on it. That's another reason why I bought it because the auxiliary is like a third channel. And if you watch any of my other videos, I like to do the remixes with my re remix live or my Akaya MPC. I like to include those into my DJ sets. And that third channel allows me to hook up 
another audio device in here so I don't lose anything with this only thing I lose with this is weight weight and size so I'm able to set up real quick plug and play just plug it in boom you setting up very quick when you get to your venues man as I said earlier these jog wheels are they're touch sensitive they're excellent for scratching and I even like these jog wheels better than I like the Pioneer Nexus 2000 jog wheels now those Pioneer Nexus 2000 jog wheels are probably the best on the market that particular line the Pioneer Nexus line on up they're probably the best jog wheels in the market for scratching you know outside of moving platters of course you know but if you're trying to downsize your load you know moving platters you know those can get a little heavy of course the performer you know that thing weighs about 100 pounds when you put it in the case I got the rain four in the studio that's heavy too it's a light controller but once you put it in the case it's big cumbersome so I just leave that in the studio this right here is perfect for taking out on the road with you I'm not going to get into the exact details of how this works because you can go on you know other YouTube uh, videos and see the exact details but when you couple it with DJ Pro algorithms especially the new updates man it, it becomes a whole new monster a whole new beast so for all you mobile DJs out there I definitely suggest if you're trying to lighten your load and if you're not trying to now I guarantee you if you continue working like myself you will be lightening your load in the future it might be the far future it might be the near future but you will be wanting to lighten your load and travel a little bit less weight wise and size wise and as you can see the nice flight case come with it nice case man real compact real easy to set up real quick now I also going to include in this video another thing that I've made my setup even quicker when it comes to microphones I've purchased the uh, wireless pro the roadie wireless pro if y'all guys are familiar with these these it's a set right here comes with two two uh, two receivers and one uh, you know one receiver and two microphones basically so you basically got two microphones with this setup here. These here you can clip on to say you're a wedding DJ. Say you do a lot of weddings. You know I do my share of weddings and a lot of times you might be doing the wedding and the reception and if you're doing the wedding you might want to clip these on to the bride, the broom or the preacher and you can easily just clip these right on their, their suit or whatever. Of course they come with a lapel mic where you can hide it, clip it onto the belt. These are excellent for that. And it's not necessarily a review, a review for these because you, of course, you can go on YouTube and review these as well. But what I'm about to show you is how I use it with this particular controller. Now, also, I went out and purchased these. You know, you can get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. It's a little microphone holder. This thing right here, you pretty much, you just slide this in here like so. And it turns into an actually handheld mic. So you can also use it in the wedding, clipping it on to the bride or the broom or the pastor. And then after that, you can take it into the reception and use them as cordless microphones. Now that's, that's lightening your load, lighten your load. This is your entire wireless setup. I've used these plenty of times. The battery life is amazing. They, they've never died on me. I don't know how long the battery life is. I'm sure you can go on your website on the roadie website and see how long it lasts but they last forever i've never had an issue with the battery life it comes with two so you can easily hook two of these up and have two cordless microphones one for yourself one for the uh you know one for the guests one for yourself if you're the dj these are excellent excellent now the key to hooking these up you know when i first purchased them I thought right here this receiver right here I thought that I could just buy this right here plug it right into see if that I thought I could just plug this right into my uh, mixer into the microphone you got a little microphone spot on the front of this mixer depending on where your microphone jack is at on your mixer I thought I could just plug this in and start talking nothing happened so I wondered why well the reasons why is because in order for this to work 
in a standard microphone system, whether you're plugging it right into your controller or you're plugging it into an external mixer, you have to go out and purchase this Rode. It's called the uh, Rode VXLR Plus. Now they got similar items to this. It actually, it actually is a you know it transfers the signal from from a three prong to a two prong in order for this to work. So in order for this to work on on any mixer, any mixer outside of the Rode. Uh, you know, they got their own podcast mixer. Outside of that system, if you have a standard regular mixer or you're trying to plug it into your controller or your DJ mixer, you have to go out and purchase this right here. doesn't cost that much. And what you do with this, you plug your receiver, your transmitter, I'm sorry, you, you plug your transmitter into here, to the back of here. Once you plug your transmitter in the back of here, if you have a XLR mixer, boom, you can just plug that right into the top. Start talking through your microphones and they're going to work good. In my case, I have a quarter inch here. So I had to go and get another device to switch this over to quarter inch. So as you can see, I had to go get a double, double female connector right here. Female on both ends, XLR, so that I can connect it on this end and then also connected on this end. Might seem like a little cumbersome, but trust and believe, it's very easy to set up. And then once you plug this into your mixer, boom, you now have a wireless microphone system. I can turn this up and you may hear me. Well, let me cut my speaker back on. I think my speaker went off over here. Okay, the speaker is coming back on. Now you have a wireless microphone system. You can actually hear me coming through the speaker over there. And you can actually use both of them. Both of them work just like that. One, two, one, two. They're both working. So this is an excellent. Let me tell you, I got a few microphones hooked up. So you're probably hearing just a little bit of, little bit of feedback from all the microphones that I have in a close environment. But this is an excellent setup to downsize your rig man you got your roadie microphones two cordless microphones set up real quick plug it right into the front of your mixer or the back of your mixer and boom you on the go and combine that with the reloop beat pad 2 and the reloop neon along with algorithms dj pro and you got the perfect size mobile setup for any DJ that's trying to downsize their rig and not lose, once again, not lose any other professionalism that you once had. Now, if I had to downsize and I was gonna lose quality of sound, quality of being able to cut and scratch, quality of being able to, to do my stems, to do my samples, it wouldn't, have been a, it wouldn't have been a good idea, but this enabled me to downsize and not lose any quality in anything. I can actually go perform just as well on here than I would if I had the rain four, if I had the rain one, if I had the twelves, whatever, I can perform just as well with this set as a bigger setup. Except because if I'm mobile, it's a lot smaller. So I hope this video helped you guys out there that's trying to downsize your rigs. And I hope you also help you guys out there that's looking for a, a more efficient wireless microphone system for your mobile gigs definitely hey, if it helped you out hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel man hey, definitely help us out so that i can put out some more quality videos so i can help the people out all right once again thank you youtube video dj dre make sure you check me out in my next videos make sure you check out the dj sets as well and i'm out peace